This is, I, I don't know how you describe this, Tom. <laughs> That's just staying with it, not giving up. He's got a locker front and rear in that thing. He's going to use the most of it. He drives it right back to the tires. That was no accident. Unbelievable. Well, Sam Boyd Stadium is always full of wow factors when we get to town for the Monster Jam World Finals. This year was unlike any other for Todd LaDuke and Metal Militia. Freestyle is going to be insane because you're going to be sitting there watching for at least a good hour like a super fan watching. And then all of a sudden you got to run and get in your truck. But uh, I think it's going to be very tough to be unique at the end. Especially for the last six of us or seven of us. It's, it's going to be real tough. I think every hit's going to be done. And uh, I think to, to do a great run and to win is going to be something crazy and way unique. 32 trucks for the first time ever. A track built only for freestyle. Now, he had seen about two-thirds of the field go, and he made this decision, Tom. He was going all out. He gave it all right here. What a one-hit wonder. Why? He was able to continue. But, you know, that's what he had. Hold on. He wanted to get on house money. He did. What a huge jump right out of the box. Look at the fans. The standing ovation from your first move, you know you got something. At that point right there, he's so jacked up, nothing's going to stop him. This is the championship run from Todd LaDuke and Metal Militia that put him into that rarefied air of becoming a Monster Jam World Champion. This is what you got to do to earn that lofty goal. Look at the ride in there. He's getting bounced around, but I guarantee you he's smiling. After that opening move, he has got it going on. Now, at this level of competition, he's got to keep his head in the game. He knows what he accomplished, but if you can't win the championship on that one move, he's got to do more. And look at the way he continues to attack this course. He needs all the time he can get, you know. What a tough field of competitors. 32 trucks. You come out with the best move ever. He's just got to keep it going. Can you believe there's still 30 seconds on the clock as your breath's taken away? Man, the panels are coming off. That tells you what a rough ride. Windshield's coming out. He don't care. He got against the wall. He's got to back up. He doesn't want to do that often. He wants to just keep going forward. Normally, it'll cost you, but when you're doing things like this, you can afford. Man, what a sideways backflip. Really cool. Landed on one tire, backs out, goes for more. At this point, in this competition, the greatest competition ever, BKT bonus time, he needed more. Whether he knew it or not, Scott Buto and Team Hot Wheels Firestorm at a 34.5 on the board. These extra points won him a world title. Another corkscrew backflip. The coolest part about it was he turned right around and went right to the next obstacle. At this point, he knows the banquet is in his grasp. The time he won so many world championships, is there a moment that he had to know he was in the game here? He's in the moment. That's the neatest part about it. He's so jacked up. Look at that. You roll over, windshields knocked out of it, trucks, man, beat up, but listen to the crowd. That's what you live for. This newly designed track won most of the battles against the competition. Some of the greatest drivers could not handle this track. This kid showed you how to do it. There's not a better wild moment in his life than that right there. Look at how excited he is. Tom, look at some of this again, but you got to start at the beginning. He threw it all in. What? All his cards on the table right here. He's going to easily One. Him out. Huge air. Yeah. Revving in the air. Laying it on the front pretty heavy. But you know what? That crew had that truck tightened up because it was able to continue. Well, that 